Squad, it's Quad. I'm back with another video. This one is what would be described by a lot of YouTubers as potential career suicide. You see, the majority of the YouTubers in the sphere that I currently operate in have two wishes of who they wish to collaborate and work with. Obviously, at the top of the tree is Red Bull. Second is DJI. Generally speaking, lots of YouTubers will make videos whereby they never criticize DJI because they know if they do, they'll get struck off the Christmas card list and they won't work with them. It's really hard to get in with DJI and the only way to do it is to have a clean history by never highlighting any problems. That's not how we roll here. Here, we pride ourselves on honest reviews and I've been flying the Neo for a week and a half now and I've been toying with the idea of, do I say it's a jack of all trades, a master of none? Do I just deliver, this mode does this, here's an example, this mode does this, here's another example. Or do I shill it out and go full on, this is the most amazing drone ever. Never gonna do that, by the way. Um, and then today something happened and it was so bad that I have to make this video. And this is not clickbait. I genuinely believe that you should not be flying your DJI Neos in camera drone mode because of this. So let's go into the story. So I took off with 18 satellites, which although normally you can get up to 28, 32, whatever, 18 satellites is more than enough. I checked on the map, the map confirmed that the takeoff position had indeed locked. The home point was locked. I had permission to take off from the app. Everything was fine. As we took off, the flight was very uneventful to the point of view where our satellites gained within half a second to 23 and it went up to 26, 23 and we did our flight. We took pictures. It did drop to 13 at one point. Um, so it was bouncing all over the place really. Up to 27, 28. I'm just seeing if we ever went over 30. We didn't. So then what happened is how far into the flight are we? So we are five minutes into the flight and I was doing an orbit around the church where ironically it almost threw itself onto the floor in the first flight that I had with it in autonomous mode. And I got an error saying no satellite positioning, fly with caution. And I looked in the satellites and initially it said 21 and then 23, 26, 23, 21, but it never actually lost satellites now i actually thought for a second it went to zero but just checking back the footage and this is why you should always screen record so i'm looking at the screen record and i can see that we we only really went down to 21 and actually we was on 18 when it said that we'd lost them and then it went up to 21. so i sort of stopped what i was doing for a second had a look at it and i positioned it just getting ready to uh to go backwards to come to the home point. And I noticed that on the map it had completely moved the home point to somewhere else from where I'd taken off from. That, that wasn't where I'd taken off from. So I noticed then it started to pitch to the right. And if we look at the, the angle, the actual angle of the pitch of what it did isn't extreme. So it pitched for about 50 feet to the right. And I thought that's a bit weird. So I, I sort of controlled it to the left and then it just goes into this death spiral of throwing itself full. If we look at the uh, thing in the bottom left hand corner that shows you how how far it's tilting, it tilts fully to the left, full speed to the left. And I'm thinking at this point, I'm in real trouble here. This is gonna go down. And although it's under 250 grams, you never wanna have a crash, especially in a residential area. It's gonna hit somebody's house, it's gonna hit a car, it may hit a person. And whilst it wouldn't or shouldn't, cause any damage or injury to people as a responsible drone pilot it's the last thing that you ever want to happen so very quickly i thought to myself well i'm recording here so i know that i've got my screen recorder on i'm going to stop the recording on the internal drone because i do know on some lower models and i'm not talking dji but some lower um more basic models when they are recording especially in 4k it uses more internal memory, which can potentially cause issues with the navigation system. And the second I hit stop recording, it came to rest. Now, it was still really hard to control. So I hit return to home and it 
started returning it to the place that I'd not taken off from. So I cancelled return to home and thankfully I was able to manually land it. So what do we think's happened here? It's one of two things. It's either it's received interference from the GPS and it thought it was doing something that it wasn't doing. Or the internal system has become so overloaded because it has been recording in 4K for so long that it wasn't responding properly to the inputs of the sticks. So it was potentially, if you've ever had a PC that's, that say lagged on you and you say you're playing a game and your graphics card isn't very good and you press to the left to walk to the left and seven seconds later the character walks to the left by which time you've pressed to the right and forward so in another seven seconds it moves to the right and then in another second seconds it moves forward i think it was responding to my inputs on a delayed basis and the second i hit stop recording on the internal memory everything seemed to come back to life up to that point i was a complete and utter passenger in this and i could do nothing to save this from crashing dji really need to look at this and look at this urgently because if people are out there flying this in camera drone mode and it was so let's let's say it was potentially because it got hot it's not very hot in the uk today it's about 10 degrees the sun is out however 10 degrees in comparison to where most people fly camera drones is absolutely nothing i think the internal memory is warmed up because it was recorded in 4k i think the the soc the system on chip has warmed up because it was recorded in 4k it was trying to do the gps navigation hold and all that sort of jazz and i think it's just become so overloaded that it's locked up on the system clock and i think that's what's happened and i, I genuinely believe that if i hadn't have had the wherewithal to stop recording at that time that that dji neo would have crashed this is a serious fault that dji really do need to get a hold of and get a hold of quickly i'm going to set up i'm going to open a ticket and i'm going to send them this video and i'm going to work with them in any way that they wish to i suspect that they won't want to work with me but that's absolutely fine if they wish for me to to retest it in a, a more open area i've got the ability to do that quite happy to do that with them but i do think that this is a potential problem that isn't going to go away and the reason i think it's happening in camera drone mode is because it needs more systems to work simultaneously than for instance yesterday when i was throwing it about in fpv mode it doesn't need gps it doesn't need this it doesn't need that it's literally just responding to my stick inputs that's all it's doing because i was flying in full manual mode again the same can be said when it's flying in autonomous mode it hasn't got the stick inputs to listen to to respond to as well as recording as well as knowing where it is on gps as well as everything else that it's doing in camera drone mode i think the system board inside it is not powerful enough for it to run in camera drone mode and i think that is what's happened here now just to confirm for anybody who may be thinking oh well you're on a you're on the wrong firmware there's a new firmware update your firmware i can confirm that I am on the most recent available firmware, which I think is 1.10 anyway. I don't think they've actually released anything for it, but I can confirm that I did a firmware check and I did record my screen somewhere to confirm what firmware I am on. And I am on 1.00.0100. And my RC firmware is 1.3.100, the most up to date of both of them. This is a really serious fault and I think DJI need to, to deal with this. My advice to anybody watching this video, by all means fly your, your Neo in autonomous mode, by all means fly your Neo in FPV mode, but if you're going to fly it in camera draw mode, only turn the recording on and off when you need it. What I tend to do is I'll turn it on and record the entire flight from takeoff to landing. If I hadn't have had the quick thinking to turn that off i do believe that we would have had an accident today which would have been my first ever camera drone crash ever so uh, i'm glad we was able to avoid it i'm glad quick thinking was able to avert it now let's pass it on to dji so that they can pick up that baton and get this fixed let me know down below in the comments if this has ever happened to you and if you did the same thing by turning off the recording and if it fixed it or if yours crashed 
please do leave a like comment and share big shout out to our members barry morgan fpv and jedi fpv if you want to join them on the members bench please go and do so it's only 1.99 a month and it would really help the channel i've been quads you've all been absolutely amazing if i can help with anything dji related or drone related drop me a comment down below and i'll do my best to help you until next time peace Bye.